Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a really jump animation in Unity. So make sure you download our sample code. By the end of the tutorial, you should be able to see our character moving around and jumping by typing the space key like this. And also she should be able to jump onto object. And play the falling animation when she's walking off object. So let's get started. Let's open the demo scene and uh, take a look at the animator controller. So this is what we have from last tutorial. We have a ground state. And in this tutorial, we need the extra five animation. So let's take a look at our model here. So what we need is uh, we need the five different stages of the jumping animation. The first stage is uh, jump animation. So that's what happened when the character start to jump but before leaving the ground and second one is uh, jump up so when the character leaving the ground and third one is mid air so when the character reaching the highest point fourth is uh, falling animation and last one is uh, landing so when the character landed and oh, back to the normal state so the first thing is what we can do is we should drag the jump animation to the animator controller canvas and we also need to create a new state from the blend tree called uh, linear so let's rename the blend tree and also we need to drag the landing animation to the canvas so we need to create a transition between these different states. First uh, transition is from ground to jump. We need the one new condition called, uh, which is trigger called a jump trigger. So let's change the transition and, and check has exit time and change condition to this new jump trigger we just created. And from jump to within the air, we create a transition which using the default condition has actually time to true and from linear back to the landing we need a new parameter which is boolean code uh, is grounded and uh, we go into uncheck has actually time and add this new condition is grounded to true from landing back to ground we use a default condition and also from ground to linear we need the extra transition which represents when the character working off a clip or a cube in this case in our game so we're going to uncheck the has exit time and adding the condition is grounded to force so let's go into linear blend tree and uh, we need uh, another parameter which is fluid called uh, velocity y and uh, let's change the parameter in the blend tree to this velocity y parameter and uh, adding three new motion field and uncheck the water made threshold checkbox and uh, change the full threshold to minus five second one to zero last one to five and uh, this is where we should drag the linear jump animation so we have three different animation first one is jump up so we drag to the positive five section and uh, drag mid air to the zero section and also four animation to the minus five threshold so that's all the setup we need for the animator controller we can take a look at the scripting part of the tutorial so if we tap the click the space go cutter here and uh, as always i'll just dragging the new script we create uh, beforehand so we have this tutorial three script here. I just drag on the character and we're going to remove the tutorial two script. 
And let's take a look at what has changed in a total three script. So what we have here is that we have a new variable called the ground check distance, which is 0.2 meters. And also we have a new check ground status function. So both of this actually from the standard ISS. And what this function does is create a recast from somewhere inside the character and towards the bottom and for about 0.2 meters to see if anything hit. So when the anything hit by the recast, we consider the character is uh, touching the ground. And also I add actual full condition. So I'm going to using the same recast by checking the left side and right side and also front and the back of the character. So I'll show you here in the scene. So normally what we have is we have a recast from the middle of the character towards the bottom to check anything hit. But in some edge cases, sometimes the character going to touch the ground just on one foot but not on the other foot. Or maybe in the front side of the foot but not on the back side. So that's why I create actual full recast from the left and the right and the front and the back to check if you find anything here. So let's go back to the script and uh, so when we can see the character is touching the ground, we set its grounded variable to true and we saving the ground normal, which we don't use in this tutorial. And uh, we also change the animators apply root motion to true. So what it means is uh, the animator going to apply the transform information from animation to the rigid body of the character. So it's going to control the movement of the character using the animator. But otherwise, if the character is in the air, we're going to set apply root motion to force, which means uh, the Unity going to use uh, Unity physics to uh, control how the character going to move in the air. So in this case, which means we're going to use uh, gravity to control how the character is moving in the air. So let's take a look at the other part of the script. We have uh, called the check ground status function in each update, and we set uh, its grounded value back to the animator. We just saw the, the parameter we created here. And also, if the character is on the ground, we check whether the user has tapped the space key and we set the trigger jump if the user tap space key. And otherwise, we just play the normal ground movement script to control how the character is to move on the ground. And uh, also, if the character is in the air, we're going to pass in the velocity information from the rigid body to the to the animator to control how the which to control which animation to play in the air. And uh, lastly, we have uh, we set a new jump state uh, constant, and we check whether the animator is in a jump state. And if the the jump state has finished its animation, so what happens when the normalized time is larger than one? We going to create a new velocity which represent the jump physics and apply that velocity to the rigid body. So that what happens when the character finish first stage of the animation before it's leaving the ground, we're going to apply the velocity to the rigid body. So this is the physical part of the, how the character go to jump up in the air. And uh, I think that's it for the, all the setup we need for the jump animation. So let's go back to the game and uh, play the game. So if we tap the space key, we see that our character is jump up and play all the five stages of the animation nicely and smoothly. So this is the end of the tutorial and I hope you like it. Make sure you download the sample project and I'll see you next time.